Hello, John Tennyson here. I have in front of me a newspaper article from 1971 written by James Presley. This was a last in a series of eight articles. This particular article was published on May the 9th, 1971, on a Sunday. It was in section A of the paper. Um, the article began with the headline, New Phantom Lead Checked, last in a series. And then it continued on page 8A, in which a larger headline was present, which was, Phantom could be in prison, or he could be at large. Of particular note about this article, as well as the seven articles which preceded it by James Presley in the Texarkana Gazette in 1971, was the fact that none of these eight articles showed any evidence of James Presley having quoted or directly interviewed his uncle Bill Presley, who was sheriff at the time of the phantom killings in Texarkana. Of particular note in this last of the eight articles, however, is an additional uh, comment, and that occurs about right here in which James Presley is interviewing Max Tackett. He's quoting Max Tackett, who says, quote, She said, that's where the little boy and girl and the car was parked. By she, they seem to be referring to Peggy. But then in parentheses, James Presley has this comment. They had found a date book there, but this information had been gathered by a Texas Ranger, and we learned of this information only afterward. This parenthetical comment is somewhat ambiguous. First of all, it begins with the pronoun they. We don't know exactly who James Presley is referring to when they say they had found a date book there. Um, but he does make it clear that some anonymous Texas Ranger gathered in the information. Um, also, later in that uh, compound sentence, it says, we learned of this information only afterward. We're not exactly sure who we referred to. But regardless, this parenthetical sentence in no way cites Sheriff Bill Presley as having been the one who found the date book. Nowhere in this article, in fact, is Sheriff Bill Presley cited as the one who found the date book. Nowhere in the other seven articles in 1971 by James Presley in the Texarkana Gazette is Bill Presley, the sheriff, cited the one as the one who found the date book. Yet more recently, on November the 22nd of 2014, I attended a reception for James Presley regarding his new book on the Phantom Killer, in which he now claims that his uncle was the first person ever to tell him that a date book had been found. He also claims now that he actually cited his uncle back in 1971 as being the one who found the date book, whereas that appears to be untrue. I asked James if he had ever um, known of, J of Bill Presley, his uncle, to have reported the date book to anyone prior to telling J uh, James Presley in 1971. And uh, James Presley said no, he did not know of that that there was any record of prior to 1971. So it appears that James Presley was the first ever to claim that a date book was found, at least in a public uh, published context. And it appears that when that claim was first made, that James Presley did not attribute it to his uncle Bill Presley, but instead attributed it to having been uh, found by someone else and having been reported to a Texas Ranger. Um, James Presley seems to be completely unaware of this claim currently, despite the fact that it appears in the article in which uh, he is the author back in May of 1971. I'm now going to let you see the video footage uh, from my question that I posed to James Presley about the date book. With regard to uh, the, the date book, Paul Martin's date book, um, it seemed like that, that you regarded that as the most incriminating piece of evidence that would have was the Paul Barton's date book. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. It seemed like in your book that you regarded that as the most incriminating evidence that would have placed Peggy in the park at the scene of Paul Barton's murder. Well, that was one thing. That was not necessarily the only thing, no. Do you, do you think there was anything more incriminating than that? or was? You well, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty you know, convincing that... Uh, no one else knew about it. When, when did when did you first personally hear about the, the date book having been found? Uh, uh, probably around 1971, 
when I interviewed some for an eight-part series I did for the Texarkana Gazette, I was not doing it as an employee at the Texarkana Gazette. I, I freelanced it because I knew this was the epicenter of interest in this case, and they would be apt to, willing to run it in the link. Who since then, uh, that, that uh, series has been, uh, others have taken it, they've uh, quoted it, uh, have uh, cited usually the Texarkana Gazette without citing my name, but uh, you know, that's the way it went. Who, who was it who first told you about the date book? The, the sheriff himself, who was this Bill Presley mom, told me. Yeah, because in the, in the Texas County Gazette article in 71, you don't cite your uncle. You say that the information has been gathered by Texas Rangers. No, I didn't say that. You, you say no, you, I didn't you, say that. You do cite your uncle? Yes, yes. Really? You, you cite your uncle in 1971 as having been the one to have found the date book? Yes. In the paper? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I, yeah, that was not clear that, that you had cited your uncle. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah he, he kept that and he found it the day and there were he and Jack Rums, who was the police chief. See, even though these things happened outside the city limits, at that time, the first officers on the scene were probably not deputy sheriffs because you had the whole county with just a handful of deputies. It usually was the, uh, the uh, policeman city policemen who had a special commission to go outside and they were usually the first on the scene. And, uh, but that day, it so happened that uh, Bill Preston and Jack Rollins were having coffee, uh, pre-church coffee, and they uh, were together. When the call came, they went out there and uh, he looked around, he found this date book. Of course, he just slipped it in his pocket because one of the problems then was, was uh, too much information to give me out to end up in the newspaper so the killer would know, you know what was going on. He said. And so he slipped that in his pocket and no one knew about it. And uh, we pulled that out. And, uh, is, is there any record of your uncle having reported finding the date book to anyone prior to 1971? Or were you I, don't, I don't know. I don't have it. But that's why he told me. And he was a trustworthy person. So. Okay, thank you.